Recently, some of my friends and I went to Hershey Park in Pennsylvania. It was my first time going and everyone else either hadn't been before either or haven't been there in a really long time. As we were going through the park for fun, we rated all the rides that we were on from 1 to 5 and here is all of our definitive rankings of the rides at Hershey Park. We wanted to get in some of the big rides before the crowds really came in, so the first ride we went on was Fahrenheit. It goes up 121 feet and drops 97 degrees. And this thing definitely screams intimidating. Out of five. My, my rating out of five. Out of five? Mm -hmm. I saw a four and a half. I think it was the four. The weight was good. 4.5. Okay. The next coaster we went on was Lightning Racer, which is a wood roller coaster that has two tracks that go at the same time and they race each other, as the name suggests. 2.5. Probably a 3 or 4 for me. Okay. I think much when I saw it, and then we actually went down. I was like, oh, this actually might be It was nice. pretty fast for a wood, but like, it was unstable. It felt like it was that's breaking what, that's apart. The whole, like, is that the whole part? That's the whole well, deal of wood roller coaster. I think this one would get a 4.5. I liked it. <laughs> I liked, I liked it! I liked it! I liked it! Next, we went on Wildcat, which is another wood coaster that is actually closing at the end of July. I think if we're going for a pure thrill, we're thinking like a 4.225. It's better than Lightning Racer. The concepts, I like the concept of two, two coasters racing at the same time, so okay. this doesn't have that. Uh huh. But it's uh, a lot more violent. Okay, 3.5. I think, I think I like the concept better of the other, um, the lightning racer. Yeah, better. it's fun. It was fun. I give it a three out of five because it was faster and steeper, but I still don't like the jerky effect. So, you, so you just don't... doesn't like wind roller. Okay. Over. That's that's the conclusion of the day. There we go. Out. Got it. The next ride we went on was Jolly Rancher Remix, which pulls you up backwards, drops you back through the station, and once you get to the end of the track, it pulls you back up, and you do the whole thing in reverse. It's a four. It's a four. I think it's, yeah, somewhere on the line of the wild. I say three. It was slower than I thought. You did that one. The it's backwards, fun to do it backwards. Yeah, the backwards, like upside down stuff was fun. Right, you do so that it's higher one. than the wood. That one. What's the wait, the wait time on it? We didn't end up riding that one because it started raining and during those couple hours when it was thunderstorming and the rides were closed, we decided to go get our lunch. We survived! Hi! Do you see my bra? <laughs> because it was still raining, we went to Reese's Cup Fusion, which is their indoor dark ride. Hi! Day three of Trapped in the Rain! <gasps> Been seeking help in the warmth, but to no avail. None of the rides are reopened. So we're just standing in the line. Am I in it? At Reese's Cup Fusion. Basically a knockoff of the Buzz Lightyear ride at Disney World and Disneyland. There was a way to register your initials so that it would show up on the leaderboard if you scored high enough, but we didn't do that because that was out in the rain and we didn't want to stand in the rain any longer. But if we did, I would have ended up right around there. Related scores, a three. Three. Oh. I gave a two. 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 Three, I meant three. <laughs> I would say it's a solid 2.5. All right. Oh, really? All right. I mean, because like, for like that type of ride, right? Disney obviously kicks it out of the park, uh, so I have to scale it back. Yeah. You know, like that's just how it be, you know, that's life. Yeah. But I will say that's probably one of the best, better themed rides at <laughs> King's Dominion? Uh, King's Dominion? Hershey Park. Someone's tired. We made our way back to Storm Runner, which is the ride we were trying to do before it started raining. It might be early, but five out of five. I say four and a half. The launch was a five, but it's too short. Okay. So that's a four. Solid four. I think it was like the thrill was there because it went really fast. I wish it was longer. Yeah. That would have been better longer. That's my yeah. main complaint. Next, we went to Skyrush, which has a 200 foot drop 
and do not be fooled by this picture because I was not having a good time. I had a whole experience on this ride. My score is the best 10 out of 5. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to break math and say 5 out of 5. I do agree with her. It is the best. I disagree. 3.5. I was scared I was going to fall out. And then I thought I lost my friend halfway through. So. Hi. Friend, still here. We got him though. Okay, so story time. This is a very accurate drawing of what the roller coaster looks like. This is the way we were seated. When we get on the ride, I'm already kind of scared because of the lack of the shoulder restraints. So the ride gets started and I glance over because usually you can see your friends as you're on the roller coaster, but this time I couldn't. So my immediate thought was that Steven just fell off the ride. And I was very convinced for a few seconds or so that Steven was no longer on the ride with us, but it was okay. All three of us got off in one piece as planned. Our next ride was Candemonium, which they claim is their tallest, fastest, longest, and sweetest coaster. But I don't know why they would be eating their roller coasters. We ended up running to this coaster because it had a wait of over an hour all day, but when we got there we were on the next train, which was crazy, so we ended up riding it twice. Um, I'm gonna give it 9 out of 10 five. <laughs> It was pretty stable, but pretty thrilling, and it lifts you off. Um, 4.9. Pretty good. But not as good as Skyrush. But for this point, I'll give it again. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Forgot that's what we were doing. Four out of five. I liked it. <laughs> we also rode Great Bear, which is one of those coasters that has the track on the top and you hang from the bottom. And it wasn't originally one of the coasters that we were gonna go on, but we had some time and the line was short. <laughs> it's a tip for me. Uh, four out of five. Four out of five. I think it's a softer five than Skyrush. I would put it above Candemonium. We were able to ride Comet before the park closed. Last one. One last one? For thrills, it's a three. It's relatively really? tame. But the lighting, scenery, kind of nice. I'm also not in shock. Uh, <laughs> that was a three? I would say I would bump it to 3.5. Okay. As an overall experience, it's three and a half. As a thrill, it's a three. Okay. I'm giving it a four because of the whole experience. Maybe but whole as, as like a thrill thing, it's like a two. Okay. Honestly. I can understand and, that. Because even, even among like the wooden roller coasters, it's not as like... Yeah, it's definitely one of the more tame ones. It's very smooth. Okay, yes. we need to find our friends. Woo! What's your favorite ride? <laughs> What's my favorite ride? Skyrush? Okay. Stormrunner. No, 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 Stormrunner. You're the Stormrunner. Storm Runner. Storm Runner for me. Wait, you, how you don't remember? I don't remember the name. Uh, but it's it's Mine Storm was Runner. Skyrush. Okay. Skyrush, Great Bear, probably Candemonium Fahrenheit in that order. I haven't thought much about everything below it. Well, I only did three things today. <laughs> I went on the monorail, I did Rhesus Cup Fusion, and Zoo America. I felt like a great wilderness explorer at Zoo America, so I think that's Did you my... say wilderness explorer? Yes. The wilderness must be explored. What is it? Favorite is the lightning, lightning racers. Maybe? I think. Wooden one, right? The wooden one at the beginning. I thought it was fun. It was fun because Eugen was on the other side and Steve and I were on one side. And so it was actually like we were racing. But it wasn't a fair race. We made a rematch. We need a rematch. So there you have it, our ratings for the rides that we went on at Hershey Park. I thought it was interesting that our favorites by the end of the day were pretty closely aligned to our favorites throughout the day as we were rating the rides right after we rode them. Do you want it? Oh, actually, it's your birthday, so happy birthday, Haley. Here you go. Trying to find our car. Warm orange juice and a lost car. Well, I need water first. We Stay found. tuned for our next episode vlog of Haley's Entourage.
goes to an amusement park.